It's Hot Mike with Hutton and Withrow, where daily we discuss the National Football League and the push for the postseason. In the AFC, plenty of teams trying to jockey for positioning. In the NFC, well, the best teams in the NFL with the Philadelphia Eagles and San Francisco 49ers. Well, hold on, Hutton. Not just those teams, but how about the Detroit Lions is one of the best teams in the NFL. Other shows may not mention that or talk about it. We will. We are on board with Detroit. Subscribe to the podcast. Join us each day for Hot Mike with Hutton Withrow across the Outkick Network. We discuss the NFL, college football, and the top headlines from Outkick.com. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moz Boss Show. In today's episode... Doing this episode 3 in the morning, so if I sound tired, it's because I am. If I mess up on what I'm talking about, it's because I'm tired. So, anyways, uh, yeah, so today's episode, let's talk about being single. So, for those that don't know, yes, I am single. Um, And it sucks. Like, you know, if I'm going to be truthfully honest with you guys, it sucks because, you know, you you want like that special somebody to talk to at any given point in time, like just, you know, about random stuff like you you see each and every person around you. And it's crazy because like when you're single and you've been single for a while, like you pay attention to like other people's relationships like because to me for the longest like I did not care about a relationship I honestly didn't I was like I had to say like I I can watch like a love movie feel nothing about it I could you know listen to love songs feel nothing about it like because no for like the you know for years like I had to say I just I felt so like empty inside to where like relationships just didn't really matter to me and then it wasn't up until, like, I had met the one uh, girl that, you know, the whole situation from 2020, um, it wasn't up until I had met her is when I had actually, you know, felt something again. So, yeah, like, for the longest, like, I did not care about, you know, relationships and stuff. Like, I guess it was just that emotional damage from the high school situation that just carried on and just kind of had, like, a insecurity just, you know, traveling with me at all times, but... I have to say now, like being single, it's just, man, you know, you, you see so many, cause you, my thing is this, I'm at an age where like, you should be settling down, getting a house or a place of your own, like, you know, overall, like just taking that next step further in things. And I, I always just find myself like in a just constant circle. And I'm like, you know, I try to break out of that circle. I try to do, you know, do something different. But it just seems like that I just find myself right back in that circle just with another thing added to like to the circle. It doesn't even feel like that the circle is breaking. It just feels like it's getting larger and stuff. You know, like there ain't no cracks, nothing. I'm like, I'm just right back in this same circle uh, over and over again. So <clears throat> what does that overall have to do with being single? I don't know. I I threw that in there just because like I said it's 3 a.m. I am tired so whatever I talk about it's it's gonna make it in the uh, final cut and stuff so anyways um but no like you know being single I mean because everybody always says like being single has its perks like everybody loves being single everybody loves but at the same time like you see them very same people in a relationship so like that's why when I hear people, when they talk on like being single, it's like, it's such a lavish life. Like you don't have to worry about nobody. You don't have to do nothing on these special days and special occasions and all that crap. And I'm like, I, bro, I want that test. I I want to be tested on if I'm going to remember this anniversary or this day or this day or this day. Like I want to be tested on that stuff, fam. Like I'm saying, like my thing is at the end of the day, like I know I'm a good person. I'm not even saying that to like hype myself up or gas myself up at things. Like, no, like I, my thing is this, cause I pay attention to the wrongs and the rights of a relationship. So I'm like, bro, like I'm obviously ain't going to be going into it, you know, doing wrong and stuff. So like, that's why I'm like, man, you know, like you, you sit down, you kind of like ask yourself like that, that Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, like Will Smith questioning things like, well, you know, he was talking about his dad, but I'm all like, you know, like every time I'm because I've been I, I'm going to tell you all this right now. It's like when you are single 
and you get rejected like that stuff like it haunts you it, it lingers with you and stuff even if it's like a small little like minor rejection and things and you know like you would think at some point in time like okay like your uh you know like I guess like your time to shine in a relationship world like will eventually happen but it's it's gonna seem like it's gonna take forever you know, I feel like it's like I'm telling you guys that, but I'm also telling myself that like it is going to take forever. And then eventually when it does happen, then you're like, well, dang, like when what like what what was all this stuff about, like being single and not being in a relationship and all that crap? Like, dang, it seemed like that it was, you know, just yesterday where I was single for, you know, half of like not even half, like a good portion of my life and things. So, yeah, it's uh man, it sucks. You know, it, it really does suck. And that, that and the thing is, is like after that whole situation with the girl, like in 2020 and stuff, I'm telling y'all right now, it's like being single. It just it hurts more when you like notice and see like everybody, I guess, like around you, like really just settling down. Like it was one of my friends. Um, I, I've talked on him before, the one that's uh, um, half Guamanian and half white and stuff. Like I always use him as an example when I'm talking about that racist YouTuber and stuff, because he's, he's like my closest friend. It's like my brother and stuff. But no, um, not too long ago, he got married. He got married, had a kid and stuff. And I look at that and I'm like, dang, I want that, you know, like, that. that's, like, the one thing that I'm just really, like, craving for in life, and I know everybody's all, like, oh, having a kid is challenging, having a kid is tough, it's this, it's this, and I don't know if it's, like, you know, I gotta wait until, like, I'm in a much more better, you know, spot with, like, content creating, where I'm able to, you know, be up all hours of the night, because I'm, like, fam, like, I'm, I'm already up all hours of the night, and so, like, I'm saying, like, I, I feel like I already got that part down, you know, like, I really, at the end of the day, don't know how it is to be a father, like, and it was crazy, because, um, the other day, I was talking to one of my friends in, uh, stream, and it was kind of, like, uh, like, talking on that subject of, like, being a father and stuff, and it was, like, the things I was saying, and I was just, I like, dang, where'd they even come from, it's kind of, like, one of them, like, hidden powers, where it's all, like, what, what is, where'd they even come from, wait a minute, what, and so, you know, I'm like, I'm confused by it. But at the same time, I'm like, I, this is what I want. Like, so if I'm getting in that mindset and things, I'm like, so be it. Like, I want to be in that mindset and stuff. I want to be prepared for that. So, um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, but no, like, that's what I was saying about, um, the friend though. It was like, cause at that time when he, you know, when he was talking on like his, uh, um, wedding and things, I was in such a bad, like, mental spot, and I do honestly, like, feel bad for not showing up to his wedding, because I'm like, dang, man, like, I, I really wanted to, you know, go and things, but where I was at mentally, it was like, it, it just wouldn't have been good for me to be there, plus, I don't know, like, I really don't do so well at, like, social gatherings, I mean, I, like, I know, like, him and, you know, other friends is gonna be there and stuff, but I don't know, it's like, it's that, like, a social gathering, pandemic, freaking you know then yeah then it's like the you know one of the biggest rejections of my life it just happened like not too long ago yeah it was it was just one of those things where I'm like I I overall don't you know feel like it's you know my time to start going to weddings and all that stuff and then then it was uh another situation um last year where it was uh freaking i like re recon what what's the word that I'm looking for? I don't know. Being reconnected. I'm gonna just say reconnected. But no, it was a friend of mine's that I used to chill with uh back in uh, middle school. It was like I I hadn't and that was like the last time I had to say I seen this friend because I haven't seen them uh since. But anyways, um, she you know she reached out to me and stuff. And it was like, I, you know, still just being in a bad mental spot and things and then just not, you know, really, like my mind was confused. And I'm like, and it's one of those things where it's like, I should have just overall, like, you know, just any, you know, stuff that I had made up in my mind, just pushed to the side and, you know, pursued something that was actually like good for me and stuff. And it was this friend, like she even had said, you know, that she had uh, liked me and stuff. And so I was like, man, you know. And I'm like, I'm not even going to, you know, because the, so the situation was that, was that there is another girl that, you know, I already had started uh, talking to. And um, I'm like, I'm not going to be that person where it's like, okay, like I'm talking to this girl, 
just cut her off like randomly like I want to see where that goes and stuff and you know it's like I have respect you know and things so I'm like can't overall do that and um yeah that that ain't go good either I'm like that that ain't go good at all it's just same situation uh you know you just look up one day then like they in a relationship and stuff so I was like well dang you know and I'm like and I know people are all going to probably be like, oh, well, go back and talk to the one girl that likes you. It's like, I can't do that because I'm like, I told her that I had liked this other girl. And I'm like, I can't really, you know, pursue a relationship with you and stuff. And I'm like that, you know, that just wouldn't even like my mind just, you know, like trying to like switch over and do a 180 on something. You know, it's like my mind just wouldn't feel right, I guess. And so I'm like, and I just feel like that that wouldn't be right. It's like, oh, yeah, now that I've been rejected by this girl I'm like you know now it's like okay it's like guy you know what we were talking on before it's like yeah that can still happen right and so I'm like nah I can't do that you know so it was like and the thing is it's like you know rejecting somebody it's like bro I don't know I it, it's like you 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 know you have to like especially if you just you if you don't really like have like nothing there for that person and stuff but like Dang, man, it it sucks. I don't know how people can, like, just be going around rejecting the crap ton of people. I'm like, dang, man. Like, I just think, like, you know, if it's, like, if I'm, like, obviously, you know, uh, attracted to somebody else, and I'm like, that would be the only reason why. But I'm like, fam, like, right now, I'm like, I'm just, I'm just kind of sitting here, like, you know, once again, referencing uh, Fresh Prince, just sitting around, like, that very last part a fresh prince when will was just standing in the uh the house like just looking around and stuff like that's that's where i that's where i'm at right now it's mighty strange how much of like fresh prince of bel-air like how much of it that i relate to and stuff and i'm like fam this was a 90s sitcom why am i relating so much to this show why is there aspects of that show where i'm like dang like that's where i'm at i'm telling you there's gonna be more things i noticed from that show where it's like I'm I'm there. I'm I'm right there with them. I'm right there with Will and you know everybody else and stuff. So, but anyways, man, I'm telling you like it's um, you know, being single it sucks. Like I'm going to tell y'all that right now. Being single it sucks. Um, you know, you try and then the thing is is like that's another thing when you like start talking to somebody, there's it, it's you know, like I said, that insecurity and then just that like I guess like I I want to call it fear but at the same time like I don't I'm not like really scared but it, it's like it, it's it's like something's like holding me back I don't know like I, I want to call it fear but I'm like not that where I feel like fear is just too strong of a word but like you know just putting it there because once again 3 a.m mine's not fully there okay my eyes are like wanting to shut down right now but anyways um but no it's like that fear of like you know okay like start talking to a girl seeing where her that situation is gonna go to and stuff and it's like then there's that part of me it's all like what if you get rejected again it's like can you handle another rejection can you handle another blow like that so it's like I don't really know where to do or where to go. And it's like, I'm just kind of confused. And like, should I, should I not? Like, should, you know, like it, it's, it's just, it's, it's weird, man. It, it's really weird. And I'm like, I don't know, man. You know, like I know people are probably ask, am I currently talking to um anybody right now? And I'm like, not really. No, I'm like, I, I just, I don't even know where my mind is at. Cause it, it's my, my thing is like, I guess, like, where my mind is at, it's, like, if I know, like, you know, like, a relationship can potentially happen, like, we discuss it, we talk on it and stuff, and I'm, like, oh, my thing is this, I don't care where she's at in the world, I would freaking travel, bro, if I gotta sell, like, half my shoes, sell, like, half of whatever I have, you know, that's, you know, to my name, save up as much money as I possibly can, put out, like, thousands of videos every week, just so I can, you know, make enough money. If it's like, if it leads down to it where I got to do some stuff like that, I'm like, I'm ready for it. Cause I'm like, it's, you know, I I guess like, yeah, it's like for one, you know, I just like a new scene of scenery wouldn't be bad. And then two, it's all like, yeah, she lives in a different state, you know, the country. I'm like, dang, I'm like, I must be really like in love and stuff. Like, I don't even think, I don't know, because now I ain't even friends with a whole lot of um, women outside the country. It's like in within the country and stuff. So yeah, if it's in another state, 
you know, like, I'm, yeah, I'm not like, I don't care where it's at and things. I just don't want to be, like, near, like, no freaking swamp. Like, she, I, I can see where it'd be, like, some stuff, like, she messed around being in Florida. And she's like, well, I live by, like, a swamp area, and it's by some, like, alligators or crocodiles. It's one of the two. It's just them reptiles with the, you know, they chomp down on stuff. And I'm like, I right, fam, can you, like, come out here and stuff, like, where there ain't that, you know, or let me think of some other states. New York, and it's all, like, there's, like, some freaking puppy sized rats out there and stuff and i'm like can you come out here because we don't have all that we don't have no puppy sized rats we have rats but it ain't puppy sized rats and stuff but um where are some other places and things i feel like i don't know like cali but i'm like like cali got earthquakes and stuff so i'm like last earthquake we had was like in 2001 so i'm like the states aren't safe man <laughs> i'm like man but no, nah, it's, you know, jokes aside, though, I'm like, I don't care. I'm like, if I got to freaking be the crocodile hunter or, you know, put a rat on top of my head and freaking, you know, become the next Ratatouille or become Dwayne The Rock Johnson in that San Andreas movie and start saving people in helicopters and stuff, I'm like, hey, I'll do what I need to do, man. But anyways, yeah. Being single sucks, you know, you sit down, you do sad, depressing podcast episodes like this, instead of doing, like, uplifting, like, you know, whatever, and then it's like, then on top of that, I I think, you know, when I was doing them relationship, that's, like, one of the main reasons I think why I don't do them relationship advice uh, podcast episodes anymore, and I need to, I think I might, you know, do it, like, for uh, the 100th season, um, like, special and stuff, but uh, do a relationship advice, but... Yeah, it's like you're just reading about other people's relationships and you ain't like sitting here with somebody like talking on that stuff and stuff. So it's uh, yeah, it sucks, man. It freaking it it really sucks. But anyways, you know, it is what it is. I guess if it's meant to me, if it's meant for me to be single, then it's meant for me to be single and stuff. So but anyways, I will talk to you all later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. If you're viewing this on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're viewing this on the podcast streaming service, make sure you follow or subscribe however it's set up. Make sure you subscribe to one of my 43, I almost said like 24, I don't even know where the number 24 came, that's how tired I am fam, I almost said 24 and I'm all like, I hadn't had 24 um channels in a while, so I'm like bruh, like I, I need to hurry up and go to bed, but anyways, make sure you subscribe to one of my 43 YouTube channels, follow me on Twitter, TikTok, Twitch, and Instagram at tmosboss, and make sure you follow my Facebook page at tmosboss fan page. And also, if you're purchasing any tickets from SeatGeek, make sure you use my promo code tmosboss, and it will knock $20 off your first purchase. And that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening, and peace.